Hi there, this is Robert for AETouch.com and here's what we are going to create today. A pretty nice animation using Trapco Forms Auto Reactors. So let's jump into After Effects and uh, make this effect. So we're back into After Effects now. And uh, let's start the tutorial. Go to composition, new composition, name it main comp, and uh, select NTSC D1 widescreen square pixel, and uh, set the duration to 5.1 seconds. And uh, let's make the background layer new. Solid, call it BG, make comp size, and doesn't matter which color, black is fine. Click OK, let's add a ramp, layer, uh, actually effect, generate ramp, and um, set the start to black, the end color to dark blue. And make it radial, move the start position here and the other position here. Okay, now let's add the form layer new solid and call it form. Choose effect trap code form, and uh, you'll get this setup here. And uh, what uh, trap code form is uh, just a particle generator and uh, it generates par particles in a grid fashion. It's a very powerful plugin, you can use it to create all sorts of effects. It has a lot of uh, presets, like this, for example, looks good. And, uh, this this looks even more interesting and uh, let's reset it and uh, begin uh, modifying the settings in to our needs go to paste form and uh, size in x make it 6530 size in y make it 800 size in Z 500 that looks good particles in X um, 6530 particles in Y 4 and particles in Z 3 basically you'll get these lines here pretty interesting so let's continue Go to the particle and set the opacity to 75. Let's colorize them. Go to quick maps, color map, and uh, select the green preset. And put the select pink and the other one the brighter pink and map it radio okay that looks good now we'll go to this person twist and set the dispersion to 10 and the twist to 3 basically the is the disperse the particles and uh, twist them and they're very interesting now um, go to the fractal field and select the displacement mode XYZ individual X displace to 150 Z displace to 100 and uh, no flow we don't want them to flow okay now let's create a new camera layer new camera 35 millimeters is okay 
and uh, select the unified camera tool and uh, you can rotate by clicking the left mouse button and dragging left or right up and down and I'm gonna set it up like this okay now let's import our audio file okay. you can use whatever audio track you like I used Cell Dweller, Cinco de Mayo Mix, see Clash Up that Clayton made it's very cool and uh, you can download it from fixstore.com slash free stuff and again it's not working fixedstore.com slash free stuff right and uh, right here downloaded and uh, let's carry on right uh, select your audio layer hit LL on the keyboard to bring up the waveform we make some room here and um, drag it till you I think I remember yes it's here this yes like this now let's set up form so it reacts to this layer go to form and uh, audio react basically you get five reactors but we're going to use only two right set the first reactor frequency to 100 strength to 75 and map to disperse set the second reactor frequency to a thousand and strength to 125 and map it to the fractal select your audio layer and you'll see that if we run preview it it will start to react to the audio <laughs> Alright, looks awesome. Let's add a camera animation. Select the camera, press P and Shift A to bring up the position and point of interest. Add a keyframe for both values. Go to the end of the animation and uh, let's zoom in a bit. by scrolling with your mouse wheel or by holding down right click and uh, dragging up or down I think we went a bit too far that looks okay let's rotate the camera a bit and, uh, and pan it a bit and basically it's up to you you can use whatever movement you want and uh, looks pretty cool so let's preview it with the camera movement right looks pretty good and uh, let's make something uh, experiment right now and let's rotate the particles in uh, in Y space and uh, let's rotate them 
Um, let's set a keyframe. Delete the expression. Set a keyframe at the end of the animation. And let's rotate them three times. Go to the beginning and set the rotation to one. And now the particles should rotate. And uh, not in Y, let's rotate them in uh, let's rotate them in uh, Z. Actually, forget that. Leave it like that. So, um, let's make the particles uh, pop a bit and uh, select your camera, press AA, enable depth from field and uh, set the blur level to 175. Go to form and make sure render mode is set to full render plus depth of field. And there the particles start to pop up a bit. Let's uh, make them pop even more by adding a glow effect. St go to effect stylize glow. And uh, there we have it. Don't need to change the settings, it works just like that. Pretty good. And uh, now let's add the final details, uh, the fade effect that you saw on my first video. And uh, let's do that right now. Layer, new, solid, call it fader, make it comp size and uh, black. Okay, press T to bring up the opacity. Set a keyframe, move 20 frames, set another keyframe and uh, set it up to zero. Move to the end of the animation and uh, set it to 100. Move back 20 frames. And uh, set it to a hundred. I actually set it to zero. And the end of the animation set it to a hundred. Yes, like that. Now let's fade the audio track as well. Select the audio track and press L on the keyboard. Move to the start of the animation and. Set a keyframe and set it by minus 48. Go to the next keyframe from the fader and put it to zero. Go to the next and set it to zero. Set a keyframe to zero. Go to the last keyframe of the animation and set it to minus 48 again. Right, we have our fade, our video fade and our audio fade. And uh, let's do one final RAM preview and check it out. Right, I'm pretty pleased with the final effect. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. But uh, before we part, let me show you some other cool tutorials that really inspired me to do this. And uh, they are all from uh, aetuts.com. One is called uh, The Best Sound You'll Ever See. It's from uh, Satya Mecca. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty cool effect, very nice, and uh, 
you should check it out and uh, the second is uh, pretty much what I made but I made with trap code form looks very similar and uh, it's very it's very inspiring it's called create a sound reacting 3d waveform animation without third-party plugins and the key phrase in this title is without third-party plugins very nice a very nice tutorial and uh, this is what inspired me to make this tutorial hope you enjoy it and uh, this is Robert for AETuts.com and uh, we'll see you next time